I was born in Hawaii in the 70s, and uh, I grew up in a really great time in this kind of like a cultural renaissance where music was coming back and art was coming back, and so I grew up in that. The Hawaiians, the Kanaka who came over, they had this pull of being here in the Pacific Northwest, but also being back from Hawaii and missing home and being homesick. And I felt homesick and I felt this pull. And so I connected with them in a lot of ways. One of the big differences in the things that I'm doing right now um, with art and this cultural tradition is that I'm doing a lot of things digitally um, and I'm doing some things that are very modern. One of the things that I wanted to bring to this show uh, was all of the color and all of the visuals um, that kind of get missed when you think about history. For the diorama pieces, um, I want them to be able to transport themselves into that space. There's glass involved with the boats, um, and I want them to feel that, to feel how treacherous it was to bring a small uh, dolly boat into the bar. When I visit Fort Vancouver, I feel the people who lived there. The stories are still there. And, and I'm fascinated by them. There's William, Kanaka William, or Kanaka Bill. I wanted to kind of show a little bit more about his story. So I spent a lot of time on his house, since it's also documented in the drawing by George Gibbs. The house is there, you can see the picture of his drawing, it's right there, but it's one side. It's, a, it's the flat side and you can kind of see a porch. So I took that and I, twisted it and I made it three-dimensional. So if you walk around the piece from the one side, you can all of a sudden see the inside. I put a poi pounder in the house um, just because poi was such an important part of Hawaiian foods. And then things of everyday life that Mary would use. You know, they had to make their own clothes. So I made sure that there was a sewing basket. And then one of the other pieces that I did was kind of expanded on Mary was talking about the women. There were hundreds of women living in the village. So there was a piece called Navahine, which is a book. In it are, are some portraits of women um, who are not documented. But I wanted to give them color and I wanted to give them faces and I wanted to show that they did exist. So the coral I have in a few places in the show. It's in uh, the travel series prints. It's in the house, um, the Kalehelehe house. If you look closely, you can find the coral. Um, and it's also represented on the plate. One of the things that I wanted visitors to take away after seeing the show is that the people who lived here and the Hawaiians who lived here, the Kanaka, were an active part um, of the Pacific Northwest. So one of the things that Kei Kukui Foundation has been um, working on is to share some of the culture back, bring it over. We bring practitioners over from Hawaii, sharing hula, sharing language, sharing cultural craft. It's so wonderful to have this feeling of home by sharing all these things. And I think that sharing is just a natural part of that um, and taking care of one another. That's the whole point of having aloha is, is the community and sharing and respect for one another.